Good evening. Please stand and welcome the grad soon to be graduating class of 2023. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you, Mr. Tunis and to our band members. Good evening and welcome to Carver Middle High School Class of 2023 Convocation. I am Christine Cabral, the proud principal of Carver Middle High School, and I am honored to welcome you here this evening to celebrate our soon-to-be graduates as they receive their due recognition, awards, and scholarships tonight. At this time, I would like to invite Jillian Brooks, Jasper DeMello, Echo Jones, Izzy Mercer, Morgan Riley, Morgan Riley Davis, and Riley Reed, sorry, Morgan Reed Davis and Riley Reed Davis to the podium for our performance of our national anthem. And if I could ask the audience to please stand. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the we watched where so gallantly streaming and the rockets rocked the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say Awesome. Thank you very much, and thank you for years of blessing us with your talents. We will certainly miss hearing you perform the national anthem for us. I would like to ask the class to remain seating until the president of our junior class, Cameron Zanny Boney, sits you. Thank you, Cameron. I'm going to start by inviting the class president, Sydney Sheehan, to the podium to address her class. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sydney Sheehan, and I'm the class president of the class of 2023. It's been many years <laughs> that we've all been in this building, most of us in sixth grade, some of us, even Captain Powell. And we've all grown up together, we've all come together and it's just really an honor and a blessing to welcome us all here on Convocation Night. So. I would now like to welcome Mr. McInnes. Am I welcoming you back? I'm coming back up. And I'm gonna welcome Ms. Cabral back to the stage. Thank you so much, Sydney. <laughs> Before we begin the awards portion of our ceremony, I'd like to take a moment to thank our administrative assistants, Ashley Doyle, Michelle Nickerson, and um, Lynn Galuzzo, who without their help and support preparing for tonight's event and many of the senior events, this would not go off as smoothly, um, and they put an awful lot of extra time and effort. So I'd like to thank the three of them. We will begin the, with the presentation of academic awards. These students are being recognized for their dedication to the individual discipline, for demonstrating a passion for their content area, and their positive impact on the staff and department. Students, I'm going to ask when your name is read, please come forward to receive your award. The first recognition is for excellence in mathematics. 
And I'm going to invite Mrs. Young to the stage, who is the math department chair for the presentation of the award. Would McKenna Clark please come forward? We would now like to invite the History Department Chair, Brian Lamoureux, to the stage. He will present our recipient of the Excellence in History Award to Lindsay DeSisto. I now invite the, our Department Chair of the Science Department, Michelle Littleton, to the stage to present the recipient of the Excellence in Science Award is awarded to Lorelei Gaynor and to Holly Weston. Congratulations, Lorelei and Holly. Um, I'd like to ask our English Department Chair, Bob Yule to please come to the stage to present the recipient of the Excellence in English Award. That is awarded to Shane Ostrusky. <laughs> the next awards will be presented by our senior class advisor, Tony Rota. If you could please come out, Mr. Rota. He is going to present the recipient of the Excellence in Mechanical Engineering and Technology. Three students are being awarded this. The first is Brooke Nielsen. Our second recipient is Kevin Ginnity. And our third recipient is James Toomey. The next award will be presented by Sean McGinnis, uh, Carver Mill High School Assistant Principal. He is going to present the student for Excellence in Comprehensive Health. There are two students receiving this award. The first recipient is George Bellevue. And the second recipient is Alana Hutchinson. The next award is being presented by the Department Chair of the Allied Arts, Mr. McLean, Thomas McLean, if you could come out. And the first award Mr. McLean will present is for Excellence in Spanish. And that recognition is being awarded to McKenna Clark. Our next award is being presented by our high school art teacher, Jen Genovese. She will award a student for excellence in art. And that recipient is Jenna Newell. The next award is being presented by Thomas McLean. And this award is for excellence in French, and that is also being awarded to Jenna Newell. And the next award is for excellence, if you want to guess, that is for excellence in culinary science, and that recipient is Jenna Newell. <laughs> The next presentation will be for the Yearbook Awards. If I could invite Mrs. Doyle, Ashley Doyle, to the stage. She's going to recognize three students for their hard work and effort to put together our yearbook and working with her and Mrs. Nickerson. The first recipient is Sierra Carey. The 
The second recipient is McKenna Clark. And the third recipient is Holly Weston. I would now like to invite Ms. Jillian Griffin to the stage. She's our music and chorus director. She is going to recognize students for demonstrating excellence in the performing arts. The first award is the National Choral Award for Excellence in Choral Music. And the recipient is Jasper DeMello. The second award presented by Ms. Griffin is for excellence in vocal music, and that is being awarded to Isabel Mercer. The next award is being presented by Jeremy Tunis, high school music teacher and instrumental instructor. This award is for excellence in instrumental music, and the recipient is Shana Strusky. The next award is being presented by Thomas McLean. And this award is for excellence in the dramatic arts. And the recipient is Echo Jones. The next two awards were, um, students received them at class day earlier this week, but I think it's important that we recognize them and have them stand um, and be recognized here this evening as well. The first was the recipient of the John Philip Sousa Award for Excellence in Symphonic Band. If I could please ask Veronica Littlefield to stand and be recognized. And the second award that was distributed at class day is the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. And the recipient of that was Shana Strusky. At this time, I would like to introduce our Carver Middle High School Assistant Principal, Dylan Antel, to continue with the awards presentations. Thank you and good evening. The following awards are from the English Department. I'd like to invite Mr. Yule, English Department Chair, to the stage to present these awards. The Teen Inc. Award recognizes the student who demonstrates outstanding originality and potential in writing. This student established conventions of writing to create a style. And the recipient of this award is Deanna Hallinan. The Creative Writing Award goes to the student who has shown an appreciation for the craft of writing and demonstrated the ability to engage us in the art of story. And the recipient is Morgan Reed Davis. The UMass Dartmouth Book Award is given to the student chosen by the English department as someone who exemplifies the importance of reading and philosophical reflection. And the recipient is Elizabeth Kelly. I'd like to invite Science Department Chair Michelle Littleton to the stage to recognize students for their work in SparkNet fieldwork. The following certificate is given to students who successfully completed SparkNet salamander research training in one of our environmental and agricultural science pathway courses. Students became certified to handle and collect data from eastern redback salamanders with the same methods that are used in professional, by professional scientists. Would the following students please come forward to receive their certificate? Abigail Dolan. <laughs> Julia Ellis. <laughs> Kylie Giolongo. 
Deanna Hallianen. Amber Hoyt McGeary. Nolan Kaiser. Veronica Littlefield. Braden McCarthy. Travis Nunes. Skylar Paterni. Callie Perry. Luke Flammer. Nicholas Place. Sydney Sheehan. Amber Smith. And Jacob Weber. I invite our guidance counselor, Christina Nolan, to the stage to present the next four awards. The first award is the Jewish War Veterans Recognition. Each year, the Jewish War Veterans ask the guidance department to nominate a student who exemplifies the qualities of school and community, citizenship, respect for all, and a spirit of goodwill. This year, the award is presented to James Toomey. The next award is the Daughters of the American Revolution Award. The award is given to the student who most demonstrates dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism, and was nominated by the staff of Carver Middle High School. The Daughters of the American Revolution Award is presented to Sydney Sheehan. Carver High School had two students apply for and qualify for the 2023 Stanley Z. Koplick Certificate of Mastery Award. This certificate is awarded in recognition of a student's mastery of skills and knowledge demonstrated through their accomplishments in the field of mathematics, science, arts, and humanities, in addition to their MCAS scores. This award will provide the same tuition benefits as the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship which is a tuition waiver for eight semesters of undergraduate education at a Massachusetts State College or University. This evening, we'd like to recognize two students for making this accomplishment. Please come forward and receive your award. The first is Sierra Carey. And second is McKenna Clark. We recognize these next students at class day, but we also think it's important for them to be recognized again today. So the next recognition is the John and Abigail Adams Scholarship. Carver High School had 23 students who qualified for the John and Abigail Adams Scholarships. The scholarship will provide a tuition waiver for eight semesters of undergraduate education at Massachusetts state colleges and universities. In order to qualify, these students scored in the advanced category in either math or English language arts section of the grade 10 MCAS, scored proficient or advanced on the second subject, math or English language arts, 
and combined MCAS score in the top 25% of their school district. We'd like the following students to please stand and remain standing to be recognized as your name is read. Jillian Brooks. Sierra Carey. Avery Craig. Carly Crantonon. Jasper DeMello. Lindsay DeSisto. Matthew DeSisto. Lorelai Gaynor. Deanna Hallianen. Bridget McCarthy. Isabel Mercer. Avery Murphy. Brooke Nielsen. Nicholas Place. Morgan Reed Davis. Amara Reese. Amber Smith. Shana Strusky. Allison Thomas. James Toomey. Alyssa Weston. And Holly Weston. Thank you guys. I invite Jackie Perkins to the stage to present certificates to students who participated in mock trial. The Massachusetts Mock Trial Competition is a program sponsored by the Massachusetts Bar Association. Throughout the tournament, students assume the roles of lawyers and witnesses and have to be prepared to argue both sides of a case in front of the district court judges in various district courts throughout the state. Students must be able to demonstrate solid debating skills, thinking quickly on their feet, reacting and responding to objections, motions, and challenges filed by competing attorneys and district court judges. The following seniors, please come forward to receive your certificate. Morgan Reed Davis. <laughs> Riley Reed Davis. Amber Smith. You know who's next. And Shana Strusky. At this time, I'd like to invite Christine Cabral back to the podium. Thank you. The next award is the Principal's Leadership Award, and it is sponsored by the National Association of Secondary Schools. It is awarded to a student who demonstrates both real leadership in terms of actual contributions through elected office, participation in the organization of senior and school events, and ethical, social, and moral leadership in terms of character and ability to take responsibility for his or her actions and who is not afraid to take leadership risks. Very proud to award this um, award to Sydney Sheehan. The next award is the Humanitarian Award. This award is given to a student whose personal goals are inextricably tied to the greater good. 
They, they unselfishly give of themselves in order to help others. They show the courage of their convictions in their everyday life, and they demonstrate intelligence and respect for others in their approach in all of their endeavors. Again, very proud to award Matthew Drum. The next award is the Massachusetts School Administrators Association Student Achievement Award. This award is presented to the student who has achieved academic excellence and has made an outstanding contribution to our school. It is with great pleasure that we present this award to Matt DeSisto. The next recognition is the Washburn Award. The Washburn Award was established both to honor Mr. Erwin K. Washburn, who has, been, who has made a lifelong contribution to the education of the students in Carver, and to recognize a student who has demonstrated meaningful and improved motivation, effort, and achievement over the past four years. This award is presented each year to a student who would look at his or her work as a freshman and his or her work as a senior and say, I made a difference in my life at Carver Middle High School. The recipient of this award is Elizabeth Kelly. Tonight we have the, the privilege of honoring students who are recognized for completing one of our eight Carver Pathways. Within these pathways, students engage in a rigorous course progression designed to explore a wide variety of potential careers. These courses help students strengthen critical thinking, solve relative real, real world problems, and develop employability skills. Students tonight have completed all required Pathways courses, earned industry-related credentials, and participated in the Pathways Connected Capstone or Internship. The following students have earned a cord to wear during graduation to recognize these impressive accomplishments. So here tonight to present um, students for completion in the Biotechnology Pathway, uh, we have Stacy Waitner and Brian Wachowski representing our science department. And as one recipient of this cord, would Emma Tetralt please come forward. <laughs> the next Cord will recognize students for completion of the Environmental Agricultural Sciences Pathway. Presenting it will be Ms. Michelle Littleton, the Science Department Chair. And the recipient of this cord is Deanna Hallionen. <laughs> the next cord will be presented by Mr. Tony Rhoda. This is for completion of the Manufacturing, Engineering, and Technology Pathway, of which we have three recipients. The first, James Toomey. <laughs> the second recipient is Brooke Nielsen. And the third is Kevin Ginnity. <clears throat> the next cord will be presented by Mr. Thomas McLean. The student completed the Visual and Performing Arts Pathway, and the recipient is Echo Jones.
The next ward will, uh, cord will be presented by Erin Young. This is for completion of the computer science pathway, of which we have three recipients. The first is Brooke Nielsen. <laughs> Elizabeth Kelly. and Kevin Ginnity. And our final chord recognition will be presented by Dylan Antel. This is for completion of the business entrepreneurship. And the recipient is Nolan Kaiser. <laughs> At this time, I would like to introduce Carver Middle High School Assistant Principal, Mr. Sean McGinnis, to continue with the awards presentation. Good evening, everybody. The next few awards are in regards to athletics and academics, and in many cases, these choices were extremely difficult, that more than one student athlete scholar will receive the award. When you hear your name, please come forward and receive the award from the other end of the stage. For the National Scholar Athlete from the U.S. Army, first we have two people. First is Matt DeSisto. Put right down there. <clears throat> Second is Morgan Reed Davis. Congrats. The Distinguished Athlete Award from the U.S. Marine Corps, do we have two, Nathan Glover. And Ashley Johnson. The United States Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award, we have two awards for there too. First, Charles Condon. Second is Avery Murphy. The U.S. Marine Corps Sempa Fidelis Instrumental Music Award. We have two. First is Veronica Littlefield. She's coming. And the second is Shana Strusky. <laughs> Receiving the U.S. Navy Award for Mathematics, Amari Reese. The U.S. Navy Award for Science, Lindsay DeSisto. The U.S. Air Force for Math and Science Award goes to Matt DeSisto. The next two awards are Carver Middle High School Athletic Department specific awards. The first, we have a male and female student athlete award winner for the Athletic Sportsmanship Award. First is Carlos Thomas for sportsmanship. Our female award winner, Ashley Johnston. For the Carver Middle High School Best Student Athlete of the Senior Class. First, for the males, 
Mr. Joseph Tully, state championship wrestler. Our female award winner, Morgan Reed Davis. Our next award is given on behalf of the South Shore League principals, athletic director, coaches, and student athletes. At this time, I'll ask two student athletes to stand who received their awards earlier this year. I ask Ryan Vincent and Riley Reed Davis to please stand. The South Shore League is made up of 10 area high schools. Every year, all 10 schools select their top male and female multi-sport student athletes to receive this award. Being selected to receive this award shows that they have demonstrated the highest ideals in leadership, sportsmanship, and commitment, while maintaining a record of excellence in a rigorous academic course load. Each year, all 20 scholar-athlete recipients from the league schools are honored together at a banquet at Southers Marsh Golf Course with their parents and family members, principals, and athletic directors. This year, we celebrate our scholar-athletes with their families on April 13th and presented both Riley and Ryan with their plaques to recognize their academic and athletic achievement. They join the company of past recipients from our school who truly are the best of the best. At this time, I would like to give them one last round of applause for Ryan and Riley. The Carver Athletic Crusader Award must be an active participant in some capacity in athletics at the Carver Middle High School. Athletic ability is not the determining factor. To win, one must represent the finest in character, sportsmanship, not only on the athletic field, but in the classrooms, our community, and everyday life, and the relationship with others. The individual must do their best at all times, regardless of the job or position they are asked to hold or play. The student athlete must be known as one who never quits, working always for the good of the team and for the Carver school system. The student athlete's character and sportsmanship must be inspirational to those around them. Doing what is right at all times, not just when you're being watched, to ensure that representation of Carver athletics is at the highest standards. This year we have two winners. Our first winner is Nolan Kaiser. And our female recipient is Avery Murphy. So at this time, I wanted to talk to you about something that we chose with the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. We'd like to acknowledge our student athletes that have participated in six or more seasons of varsity athletics. We wanted to recognize our student athletes have dedicated a significant amount of time and effort to the sport and our community, often sacrificing other activities and their desires to do things with their friends to pursue their passions. These chords are a symbol of the student athletes athletic achievements and the sacrifices for which they've made to balance their academic and athletic commitments. While representing Carver Middle High School, and we hope that they wear these cords with pride at graduation. In addition, any student athlete that is qualified for an athletic cord that has a cumulative GPA of 3.5 or higher will also be receiving a national athletic academic pin to wear as well. The first recipient of a cord is has played 10 seasons, Gianna Iranimo. <laughs> Next, with six seasons, Eric Umbriana. <laughs> with 12 seasons, Allison Thomas. <laughs> Good job, Alex. With six seasons, Carlos Thomas. <laughs> With seven seasons, Gemma Tibbetts. <laughs> Good job, Gemma. <laughs> With 10 seasons, Ashley Johnson. With six seasons, Shayna Strusky. <laughs> With 
with seven seasons, Morgan Reed Davis. With 11 seasons, Riley Reed Davis. With nine seasons, Lindsay DeSisto. With 10 seasons, Avery Craig. With eight seasons, Isabel Mercer. With eight seasons, Kevin Ginnity. With 11 seasons, Ryan Vincent. With eight seasons, Alyssa Weston. With seven seasons, Jenna Newell. With six seasons, Joseph Tully. And with seven seasons, Holly Weston. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Antel back to the podium to continue with the presentation of the chords. At this time, I'd like to invite the National Honor Society advisor, Mr. Jeff Mallon, to the stage to present the officers of the National Honor Society with their stoles and tassels. Membership in the National Honor Society is one of the highest honors that, we can, that can be awarded to a high school student. High schools across the nation strive to give practical meaning to the society's goal of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. We are proud of these students for their academic accomplishments and thank them for their leadership at Carver Middle High School. Would the following officers please come forward to accept your stoles, tassels, and award. President Shana Strusky. Vice President Riley Reed Davis. <laughs> Secretary Gemma Tibbetts. and Publicity Coordinator, Holly Weston. The following members of the National Honor Society, please come forward to receive your stoles and tassels. Sierra Carey. McKenna Clark. Charles Condon. Carly Crantonon.
Jasper DeMello. Lindsay DeSisto. Matthew DeSisto. Nathan Glover. Deanna Hallianen. <laughs> Tiffany Jablonski. <laughs> Ashley Johnson. Isabel Mercer. <laughs> Avery Murphy. <laughs> Haley Nelson. <laughs> Jenna Newell. Morgan Reed Davis. <laughs> Riley Reed Davis. Go back, go back. <laughs> Amara Reese. Sydney Sheen. Amber Smith. Shana Strusky. Gemma Tibbetts. Allison Thomas. James Toomey. <laughs> Lauren Hall. 
Ryan Vincent. Maya Wainio. Alyssa Weston. And Holly Weston. At this time, I'd like to welcome, or I'd like to invite the French and Spanish National Honor Society advisor, Ms. Maria Calvo, to the stage to present her students with their cords. Would the following students please come forward to receive their cords? We're going to start with the Spanish National Honor Society. President Amara Reese. Sierra Carey. McKenna Clark. Charles Condon. Lindsay DeSisto. And Matthew DeSisto. Lorelai Gaynor. Isabel Mercer. <laughs> Riley Reed Davis. <laughs> Sydney Sheehan. Amber Smith. <laughs> Shana Strusky. <laughs> James Toomey. and Ryan Vincent. And now we will honor the French National Honor Society. Ashley Johnson. Jasper DeMello. Jenna Newell. Morgan Reed Davis. And Maya Wainio.
I would like to now invite the class of 2023 advisors, Mrs. Liza Bertram, Mr. Tony Rhoda, Mrs. Rachel Kilnap to the stage to present the class officers with their symbolic stoles. And this will be the last time Mr. Rhoda comes up as a class advisor, so just wanna throw that one out there too. So thank you, Mr. Rhoda. We are proud to recognize the class of 2023 class officers for their dedication, hard work to ensure their classmates had every opportunity for special events this year. They spent many hours in and out of school brainstorming, planning, shopping, setting up, de decorating, and so much more to make sure our seniors had an unforgettable year. Would the following class of 2023 officers please come forward to receive their stoles? Senior Class President, Sydney Sheehan. Senior Class Vice President, Avery Craig. <laughs> Senior Class Treasurer, Riley Reed Davis. <laughs> Publicity Coordinator, Alyssa Weston. and Senior Class Secretary, Lindsay DeSisto. At this time, I'd like to invite Mr. Tresca to the stage to recognize members of the Student Council. Carver Student Council works tirelessly to provide numerous opportunities for our students to develop and demonstrate their own leadership skills so that they can be better to serve the greater community. Through our council, our students are empowered, empowered to organize numerous fundraisers for both local and national organizations and motivated to create a series of school-wide events that foster an environment centered on both pride and inclusion among all of our students and staff. The following 2023 graduating seniors have been actively involved in student council for multiple years and have been served as the executive board this school year. When you hear your name, please come and receive your graduation sash from Mr. Treshka. Delegate Gemma Tibbetts. Delegate Morgan Reed Davis. <laughs> Publicity Coordinator, Carly Crentonon. <laughs> Secretary, Shana Strusky. And President Sidney Sheehan. Our next award is the Superintendent's Award for Academic Excellence and is selected by the Carver Superintendent. To be considered for the award, the student must be a member of the senior class with a cumulative GPA that places them in the top tier of their class. The nominee must also consistently demonstrate leadership, social responsibility, respect for their fellow students, and involvement in various aspects of the school community. This year, the recipient is Shana Strusky.
At this time, as the assistant principal for the high school, I have the honor of announcing the two highest academic awards as they are being presented by Ms. Christine Cabral, the principal of Carver Middle High School. The salutatorian is the individual earning the second highest grade point average in the senior class. At this time, we are extremely proud to announce that this year's salutatorian for the class of 2023 is Matthew DeSisto. The valedictorian is the individual earning the highest grade point average in the senior class. At this time, we are extremely proud and honored to announce that this year's valedictorian class of 2023 is Shana Strusky. At this time, I would like to welcome back to the podium Principal Cabral for the scholarships. Before we begin the presentation of the scholarships, I would like to ask all of our scholarship donors that could be with us here this evening, if you could head to the backstage area and we will call you out to present your own scholarships to our students. So just take a moment, please. At this time, the recipients, um, our scholarship recipients, will be announced for the students in the class of 2023. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge all of our donors for their generosity. In total, we, have, um, we will be awarding almost $106,000 in scholarships this evening. Our first scholarship is the AD Make Peace Scholarship being presented by John Mason. The recipient is Connor Wood. The second scholarship is from the Area 58 Community Access Media Scholarship presented by Pat Mahar. Sorry. Presented by Mr. McGinnis for Pat Maher, uh, and the recipient is Eric Umbriana. The next scholarship. That's okay. Um, the next scholarship is the Candace Weiler Scholarship being presented this evening by Carver Elementary School Associate Principal Naomi Stahl. There's two recipients of this. The first recipient um, accepting for Avery Murphy is Mr. Antel. The second recipient is Matthew Drum.
The next scholarship being awarded this evening is the Cape Cod Five Scholarship being presented by Donnie Robichaud and John Wells. The recipient of this scholarship is Morgan Reed Davis. The next scholarship is the Carver Elementary School Staff Scholarship, again being presented by Naomi, Naomi Stahl. There are three recipients of this scholarship. The first is Nolan Kaiser. The next recipient is Gemma Tibbetts. The third recipient is Carlos Thomas. The next scholarships will be, um, the scholarship is the Carver Middle High School Athletic Booster Scholarship being presented this evening by the treasurer of the Carver Athletic Booster Club, Adam Holmes. There are six recipients of this scholarship. The first, Charlie Condon. <laughs> Alyssa Weston. Ashley Johnson. <laughs> Joseph Telly. <laughs> Isabel Mercer. <laughs> and Riley Reed Davis. The next scholarship this evening is the Carver Middle High School Music Booster Scholarship being presented by the President of Carver Public Schools School Committee, Stephanie Clarity. There are three recipients of this scholarship. First is Isabel Mercer. <laughs> Jasper DeMello. and Riley Reed Davis. Thank you, Stephanie. The next scholarship this evening is the Carver Old Home Day Scholarship being presented by Emily Slavin. There are two recipients of this scholarship, the first being Holly Weston. The second, Alyssa Weston. Thank you, Emily. The next scholarship this evening is the Carver Volunteer Firefighters Association Scholarship being presented this evening by Captain Bob Tellis. The recipient of this scholarship is Allison Thomas. Thank you very much, Captain. The next scholarship is the Century 21 Classic Gold Nancy Tucker Memorial Scholarship. This is being presented by Mr. McGinnis. There are two recipients of this scholarship. The first is Matt DeSisto. The second recipient is Lindsay DeSisto. The 
The next scholarship is the Charles Flabot Living Trust Memorial Scholarship, uh, being presented this evening by Charles Parker. There are four recipients of this scholarship. The first is Sydney Sheehan. Shana Strusky. Jasper DeMello. And McKenna Clark. Thank you, Charles. The next scholarship is Dollars for Scholars Scholarship being presented this evening by Liza Bertram. There are eight recipients of this scholarship, the first being Shana Strusky. Sierra Carey. James Toomey. Lindsay DeSisto. Alyssa Weston. <laughs> Ashley Johnson. <laughs> Haley Nelson. <laughs> and Joseph Tully. Thank you, Liza. Our next scholarship is the Doreen, Doreen Merritt Memorial Scholarship being presented this evening by Sonia Lomax. There are three recipients of this scholarship. The first is Isabel Mercer. <laughs> Ryan Vincent. Tiffany Jablonski. Thank you very much, Sonia. The next scholarship is the Education Association of Plymouth and Carver Scholarship being presented this evening by Tammy Johnson. The recipient of this scholarship is Carlos Thomas. The next scholarship is the Gil Barakat Memorial Scholarship being presented this evening by Meredith Peterson. There are two recipients of this scholarship. The first is Isabel Mercer. <laughs> Jasper DeMello. The next scholarship is the Harbor Insurance Agency Scholarship being presented this evening by Doug Drew. The recipient of this scholarship is Luke Flammer. Thank you very much, Doug. The next scholarship is the Jack Quinley Memorial Scholarship being presented this evening by Aaron Quinley. There are nine recipients of this scholarship, the first being Holly Weston. <laughs> A 
Alyssa Weston. Amber Smith. I love it. Thank you. Sydney Sheehan. Kevin Ginnity. Avery Craig. Gianna Ironimo. James Toomey. And Ryan Vincent. Thank you so much, Aaron. The next scholarship is the Jake Potoda Memorial Scholarship being presented this evening by CJ and Kim Potoda. There are six recipients of this scholarship. The first, McKenna Clark. Avery Murphy. Amber Smith. Carlos Thomas. Joseph Tully. And Ryan Vincent. Thank you, CJ and Kim. The next scholarship is the Thomas P. Coyne Memorial Scholarship being presented this evening by his grandchildren. The recipient of the scholarship being accepted by Dylan Antel is Avery Craig. Thank you very much. The next scholarship is the Ark of Greater Plymouth Building Community Scholarship being presented this evening by Dylan Antel. The recipient is Gianna Ironimo. The next scholarship is the Bradford Vivian Cole Scholarship being presented this evening by Sean McGinnis. It's awarded to two students, Shane Ostrowski <laughs> and Matt DeSisto. The next scholarship is the Carver Lions Club Scholarship being presented by Dylan Antel. There are four recipients. The first, Lindsay DeSisto. <laughs> Holly Weston. <laughs> James Toomey.
and Charles Condon. The next scholarship is the Carver Middle High School Class of 2013 being presented by Mr. McGinnis, Maya Wainio. The next scholarship is the Carver Middle High School PTO scholarship being presented by Dylan Antel. The three recipients are Sierra Carey, Holly Weston, and McKenna Clark. The next scholarship is the Carver Middle High School Staff Scholarship being presented by Mr. Antel. The first recipient is Nolan Kaiser. The second recipient is Kevin Ginnity. The next scholarship is Carver Police Good Citizen Scholarship being presented by Dylan Antel. This is being awarded to Jared Bufter. The next scholarship is the Carver Police Union Scholarship being presented by Sean McGinnis. There are two recipients, the first Gianna Ironimo. The second, Nate Glover. The next scholarship is the Carver Sportsman's Club Richard Thorne Memorial Scholarship being presented by Dylan Antel, being awarded to Amber Smith. The next scholarship is Carver Sportsman's Club Scholarship being presented by Sean McGinnis, being awarded to Allison Thomas. The next scholarship is the Elizabeth Cushman Scholarship being presented by Dylan Antel. There are eight recipients of this scholarship. The first, Shana Strusky. <laughs> Matt DeSisto. Lindsay DeSisto. <laughs> Riley Reed Davis. <laughs> Morgan Reed Davis. Sierra Carey, Sydney Sheehan, and Holly Weston. The next scholarship is the Elizabeth Sorrell Memorial Scholarship being presented by Sean McGinnis. There are two recipients. The first, Sierra Carey. The second, Matt Drum.
The next scholarship being presented by Dylan Yantel is the Honeydew Donut Scholarship being awarded to McKenna Clark. The next scholarship being presented by Sean McGillis is the Jody's Journey Scholarship being awarded to Jacob Weber. The next scholarship being presented by Dylan Antel is the Midge Roby Memorial Scholarship. Two students are being recognized. The first, Lindsay DeSisto. And the second, Tiffany Jablonski. The next scholarship being presented by Mr. McGinnis is the Northeastern Savings Bank Scholarship being awarded to Joseph Tully. The next scholarship also being presented by Mr. McGinnis is the Plymouth Carver High School, the Plymouth Carver High School Class of 1973 Scholarship being awarded to Avery Murphy. The next scholarship is the Resident of Newfield House Scholarship being awarded to Riley Reed Davis. <laughs> being presented by Dylan Antel is the St. John Baptist Club Scholarship being awarded to Amara Reese. Being presented by Sean McGinnis is the Salvatore and Maria Pizzi Foundation Scholarship being awarded to two students. The first is Brooke Nielsen. The second is Alana Hutchinson. The next scholarship is the Sousa Family Scholarship being presented this evening by Bella Sheehan and being awarded to Sydney Sheehan. <laughs> the next scholarship being awarded by Dylan Antel is the South Meadow Village Scholarship being awarded to three students. The first is Nolan Kaiser. <laughs> Tiffany Jablonski. <laughs> and Eric Umbriana. The next recognition is for a South Shore Bay Band Music Scholarship being awarded to Shana Strusky. And the next scholarship is the Zach Kane Memorial Scholarship being presented to nine students by Mr. McGinnis. The first is Charles Condon. <laughs> Matt DeSisto. <laughs> Justin Gatles. Kevin Ginnity. <laughs> Madeline Grimes. <laughs> Ellie 
Ella Kenyon. Avery Murphy. Skylar Paterni. And Nicholas Place. Once again, I would like to thank all of our scholarship donors for their tremendous generosity this evening and their support of our students and the support of education here in the town of Carver. I congratulate all of our soon-to-be graduates for all of the gifts and awards, the cords and sashes and tassels that you've received this evening. Um, I would like to thank all of the families, friends, staff for being here with us tonight and be able to join us in our celebrations. I look forward to graduation with most of you on Saturday. And this concludes the class of 2023 convocation. If I could ask everyone to remain seated while our graduates leave, soon to be graduates leave first, and then you can find your students in the cafeteria. Thank you. Do you want to leave them here and come back? Yeah. You can do that.